To create vertical scroll on Figma, first you'll need to create a frame with fixed height, fixed width and height. So create a frame like this and go to design. And for now, let's just make it a little bit clearer. I'm just going to give it a red outline of 4px, 4px red outline so that it's clear that we have a container here. For this frame, I'm going to call it a content container. So it's a content container. And for this content container, I'm going to put it inside the uh, this part between the header and the bottom navigation bar. So this red uh, area is where we would like the content to scroll up and down. Okay. So the next thing that I'd like to do is to create the uh, content itself. So I'm going to create a dummy content using the rectangle tool. And for the dummy content, I'm just going to draw something very random like a rectangle like this. Uh, copy and paste. Okay, so now that you have two of them, select these two dummy content and right click and select add auto layout. Call this frame content. Now, for this content, now that you only have two elements, you notice that uh, the height of this content it's, uh, it, it is uh, lesser than the height of the uh, content container. So in order for us to demonstrate the vertical scroll, we will need this content height to be uh, longer than the height of this uh, content container, right? So now let's just go to content uh, and create a duplicate of the uh, each row of this uh, content to just make it longer than the content container. Okay. Now that your content is longer than your content container, the next thing that we'd like to do is to select this content and drag it inside the content container. Okay, one common mistake is if you take a look at the uh, left hand side you'll notice that if you just drag the content into the content container depending on the version of the figma that you're using it may not automatically put the content within the content container right so this is a part where you need to go to the left hand side identify your content click it and drag it into the content container you're going to make sure that it look like this that the content is within the content container okay now that your content is within the content container what you like to do next is to um, just tidy things up a little bit. I'm going to select my content and give it a 10px padding on the left and right and a 10px padding on the top and bottom like this. Now I'm going to adjust the height a little bit to just make sure that it doesn't look so bad on the screen. Okay, I'm going to adjust the height and make it to be the same uh, width. I mean, uh, I'm going to adjust the width to be the same as the container itself like this. Okay, Once I'm done, I'm just going to move, align the content to the top of the content container. All right, the next thing that I would like you to check for is you're going to click on the content container and make sure that clip content is thick. You're going to make sure that clip content is thick because if you don't ensure that clip content is uh, thick, what happens is it will look like this. You notice that the content actually overflows and cover the other part of your uh, design. So just make sure that clip content is ticked for content container. Now that you have everything in place, you just want to check whether the vertical scroll actually works. So I'd like you to select the iPhone 16 frame or whichever frame that you're using. Click on prototype and click on flow starting point. Okay. Now you're going to click on this to go to the presentation view. Okay. I'd like to show, show it in the full view over here. So now it looks something like this. But if I were to try and drag it up and down right now, you'll notice that it's not working. It just doesn't work. So why is that so? That is because we have not allowed this red, this frame that is outlined in red, we have not allowed it to be vertical uh, scrollable yet. So we're going to go back to our editor, click on the content container, just click on the content container and go to prototype. Under prototype, you can see that there's a scroll behavior and scroll behavior you can see there's an overflow. For the overflow, we're going to change it from no scrolling to vertical scroll. Okay. Once we have changed this, go back to our presentation view, you realize that now we can scroll up and down for your content within this content container. I hope this gives you an idea on how you can create vertical scroll on Figma. If this video has helped you out, don't forget to give it a like so that I know that this video is working and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.